Hey guys, Chris here, and today we're gonna talk about this baby here, the Leica M10 Monochrome. I've been wondering about this camera for several months now, how good the files are, how it is to use it, is it very different from the M10, the M10P, um, how good is it? And I'm gonna tell you all about it in a few moments, right after the intro. All right, so this guy here is priced at around $8,500, uh, close to 10,000 Swiss francs since we're in Switzerland. It is a, um, a little bit uh, expensive, but obviously this is an M10. This is the top of the top, the best uh, M series camera that you can find right now along with the M10 and the M10P. So obviously it's gonna be a little bit pricey, but uh, for what you get, it's actually not bad if you're an M lover. So why is this camera monochrome? What does that even mean? So the files that you're getting out of this camera are only black and white. Uh, the reason is because there's no color filter array on this sensor, so you will only capture black and white light. There's no way for this camera to transform the light into colors. So in return, you're gonna get high quality, high resolution, sharp images that are gonna look very crisp. Obviously, this is an M series camera, so there's no autofocusing. It is all manual focusing, and that means that you need to, uh, you know. So in terms of ISO, we go from 160 to 100,000. That is a lot, that is a huge gap, but that is very useful if you wanna do some night photography, or if you don't have, let's say, a Noctilux, or you have a lens that doesn't open that wide, this can be very useful. Obviously, we're talking 100,000, so there's gonna be some grain, there's gonna be some noise, but since this is a monochrome camera, the files are gonna look pretty decent. This is the king of shutters, meaning it is a very uh, subtle, here. So that gives you an idea how subtle the shutter is, how silent, how muffled. So if you're someone that likes to shoot, let's say in a church, or you want to go close to people when you do street photography, and you want to go close to the dude and do this, uh, he's not going to notice that you're here. Um, it's not like if you would be going with like a DSLR and the whole mirror is moving and it makes a, a shitload of noise. Uh, in this case, this is very, very convenient for doing street photography, which most of the people that buy this camera will use it for that purpose. Body-wise, in terms of markings, this is um, completely different from another uh, camera, obviously, because this is the monochrome series. So as for the Leica Q2 monochrome, the markings are practically gone. In front here, you have a screw instead of the Leica um, usual red dot. Um, on top here for the shutter speed, you have the automatic that it's basically blacked out, it's gray. And otherwise, that, that's all you have around here. There's nothing more. So this is a very discreet camera. Sensor-wise, you get 40 megapixels resolution on your photos. In terms of exposure, you can go from 16 minutes all the way to one four thousandth of a second. Uh, that would be good um, if you're using an external flash, but also just for normal uh, street photography when you want to open wide and it's nice broad daylight. So we have a touch screen on this camera. I'm not a big fan of touch screens because I have my iPhone. I have other, plenty of other cameras that do that. So this is an M series rangefinder style camera. So if you're someone that likes touch screens, it's there. Same for the live view. You can see your photos through uh, the screen on the back, which is great but uh, I am personally not a big fan, but it's there. Another thing you have, like I showed you on the Leica Q2 and the Leica Q2 Monochrome is the Leica Photo app. Uh, you can also use it with the M10 Monochrome, which is good news for some. I think it's good news if uh, you want to take selfies, I guess, on, on the Leica M. <laughs> Everyone's looking at me weird, but yeah, you, you could take selfies, potentially with your M series camera. But anyway, the photo app, I think it's great. If you want to download the photos that are on the camera, you don't have a computer nearby handy and you want to share them with someone, you can download them as JPEG or a DNG with full resolution. So there you go, it's there. The JPEGs that come out of this camera, they're just great, off the rails, fantastic, amazing, like I like. There, I said it all. You don't need to post edit anything. You need, don't need to touch up anything. You don't need to, to give it the like a look because it comes out with the like a look. So you're gonna love the JPEGs. I'm gonna post a bunch here so you can see how they look. In terms of build quality, this is an amazing camera. It is made 
almost practically by hand in Germany, in Wetzlar, like all the Leica cameras uh, made before this. Um, it feels sturdy. The brass is, is amazing. It is all dark, all black. Uh, it feels good in the hand. It is heavy. Um, yeah, enough talking. Let's go in action. We're gonna go outdoor. We're in Geneva. By the way, uh, the two presidents came here. I'm not gonna say who, but they came here a few days ago. So you're gonna be right where they were or in the same city. Um, it is beautiful, it is amazing. The whole team is here. So we're gonna go shoot and have some fun. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Geneva. We're now by the shore with the uh, M10 monochrome. There's a lot of people behind me. So we're going to have some uh, fun taking some shots around here. We have the, I, I don't know how you say this in English, the jet d'eau which is basically the water sprinkling out super high. This is famous, so um, yeah, I'll take some shots around here and uh, let's do it, let's have some fun. All right, so we've been shooting out a little bit with this camera outdoors here in Geneva. Um, it looks amazing, it's an M10, so that uh, doesn't change the basic camera itself, it's amazing. Um, I've been shooting at f2.8, uh, between f2.8 and f4, since uh, it is so bright and one four thousandth of a second doesn't handle this uh, bright light, even at 160 uh, ISO. So besides that, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, it's basically like the M10, no difference on that side. You just get the uh, monochrome files coming out of it and they're Sexy. All right, so we're back from the lake. We're back at the studio now. Uh, this camera, to keep it short, is a, an absolute, absolute delight compared to the M. Uh, 10, well, obviously you're gonna get sharper, crisper files. Uh, they're gonna be monochrome, but I would say, and that's my personal opinion, that the files that come out of the M10 uh, monochrome are better than the Q2 monochrome, but that's a personal choice and uh, opinion. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching this video. Thanks for sticking out till the end. Uh, thanks a lot for Cryomorphic for uh, their help on this video. It was very much appreciated. And I see you, like always, on the next one. Take care, cheers.